Hey everyone! Welcome back! Thanks for joining us! Today we've got a brand new story to share with you. So let's begin! I met my wife when we were working in the same office 8 years ago that I was new in town. I just moved to a brand new city for my job. and she was a receptionist. at the time. She gave me a tour of the facilities. and we hit it off. It took a few weeks for me to work up the courage to ask her out. But she said yes. and we had been together ever since. We got married a few years later. and everything felt like a dream. We were happy. Doing well in our lives and so in love. Before marriage we had a conversation about family and we both wanted children but we wanted to wait until it was the right time that we saw starting a family in our 20s as giving up our youth that so we made the most of it that we traveled we went skydiving and we enjoyed ourselves without having to worry about anyone else. Over the years during our marriage I started to realize that I wanted to settle down and start a family. However, it was clear that my wife still wanted to have the jet-setting lifestyle that we had before that we actually ended up getting into a lot of arguments about how we wanted different things that I in our lives that I in one of those arguments. I told her that if she wasn't going to have children, I would have to leave her that I know it was a crappy ultimatum, but I had been very clear that I wanted children. She told me about some of the fears she had and how she wanted to be a mom, but she wasn't sure when, I guess that gave me enough hope to stick around. About a year had passed dot and approaching this subject was a delicate situation for me, so I tried to avoid it. She was still going out on the weekends with her girlfriends and going to bars and clubs. Dot while I was home recuperating from the work week, I started to notice that she was staying out later and going out more frequently with her friends. Before, she would go out on weeknights as well. When I asked her about it, she told me that she and her friends had fun happy hour place and had been going there point one night. I was at home watching a nature documentary while my wife was supposedly at a happy hour with some of her friends point one of those friends happened to be our next door neighbor, who we were pretty close with. She and her husband would invite us over all the time dot and we would do the same with them. Someone rang my doorbell so I got up and answered it dot lo and behold, it was the woman next door that I was under the impression was out with. My wife. Apparently, her car wouldn't start, so she needed me to give it a jump since her husband hadn't come home yet that I agreed and grabbed my keys to walk over to her house with her that I asked her why she wasn't at the happy hour with my wife. And then she told me that my wife said it was cancelled that a lot of red flags were flying for me at that point. Our neighbors were probably some of our closest friends that I didn't understand why my wife would lie to her and tell her the happy hour was cancelled. As we were. Talking more. She mentioned that she had really been looking forward to it and she was upset that it was cancelled because her husband had been working late a lot more. Right away I was kind of suspicious about that. Maybe it was my own paranoia or maybe I was putting some pieces together that I didn't even know were connected but I was wondering if there might have been something going on dot with my wife and my neighbor. When she got home I asked her about it outright. She told me that I was being crazy for assuming that she would be cheating on me with our neighbor of all people. Then she explained why she told our neighbor the happy hour was cancelled. Apparently she had rubbed someone in her group of friends the wrong way. Dot, and they were uncomfortable with her being there. I believe what she said at the time but in hindsight it didn't make any sense our neighbor was the sweetest woman and I couldn't understand how she would rub someone dot the wrong way like that with all our issues are intimate. Life had pretty much gone out the window that we had a lot of built up resentment toward each other. Dot, and we didn't really talk about it in a healthy way to want to be with each other. Point one night. When I got home from work, my wife was home and very eager to sleep with me that I was surprised but I didn't think much of it that I was just happy it was happening. About a week later, she was waiting for me when I got home from work in the living room that holding a pregnancy test in her hand that it's either time I was completely over. The moon that I was finally gonna have a kid. Never in my wildest dreams would I have imagined that it wasn't mine. She wasn't gonna clubs or happy hours because of the pregnancy. But she was still out quite often that I felt like we should have been together through most of the pregnancy. But it still felt kind dot of like she was avoiding me. Something that occurs to me now, but I didn't think much of it at the time dot is that she never wanted me to go with her to the ultrasound appointments. She would always tell me that they weren't anything important dot, but I wanted to see the little baby on the monitor that I was finally able to convince her to let me go to Wanda while we were there. The doctor showed us our baby on the monitor and I was so moved that I almost cried. Out of curiosity, 
I asked her if they had an estimated conception date that my wife quickly stepped in and played it off like they would have no way of knowing. But the doctor said that they could give a rough estimate dot usually within a week of the actual date. She gave me the estimated time range dot and later on, when I was thinking about it, I realized that it was during the period of time my wife and I hadn't been together in months. She and I were intimate together one time dot and a week later she told me she was pregnant that I did a little bit of research online to figure out if a week was enough time to get a positive test. And from what I gathered, it was pretty. Rare.it was rare enough for a woman to even notice she was pregnant a week after conception. Something wasn't adding up and I needed answers before the go-through of my wife's things. That was a boundary neither of us wanted to cross with each other. But in this case, when I thought she was lying to me about being the father of the child that I so desperately wanted, I was able to justify doing it. I logged into her laptop while she was out and I found countless messages through her social media pages between her and our neighbor. All of my suspicions about the two of them had been correct. They had been sleeping together for several months and it was clear through the messages that the baby was his. He didn't want anything to do with it and he was worried that it would ruin his life if anything came out about the affair. They both agreed that they would pretend the baby was mine. I honestly can't put into words how heartbreaking that was to confirm. Having a child was my number one priority at the time that I was so happy that it was finally happening. And all of that was taken from me that I wasn't going to let them get away with what they were trying to do. Neither of them got to ruin my life and pretend like nothing happened out a few weeks past. And I was pulling away from my wife that I was in the process of getting a divorce attorney and filing the papers so I could surprise her with them that we were throwing a shower so people could buy us gifts and welcome the baby in a few months before they came. All of our friends and family came over to our house for the event. IT was the perfect time to call them both out for the affair. Before the presents were open and the cake was cut, I stood up next to my wife and told the room that I wanted to say something. Everybody looked at me as if they were expecting me to give some heartfelt message about how much I loved my wife and couldn't wait to welcome our baby into this world together. Instead, I congratulated her and the father on their baby, I could sense that there was some confusion in the room. So I clarified that I let everybody know, including my wife, that I knew the baby wasn't mine. Everyone was shocked and disgusted with her that IT takes a special kind of person to pretend like a baby is someone else's. When I was finished, I handed her divorce papers and told her that I would be leaving dot the house and that I would have nothing to do with her or her baby and why neighbor's wife was furious and she dragged him outside to tell him off as it turned out. He was given a position at her father's company and was up for quite the promotion because he planned on retiring. IT was a family-owned company, and his father-in-law wanted to make sure it stayed in the family. So he was going to inherit all of it. When they got divorced, that didn't happen that I was able to get a divorce from my wife, and I'm better off without her now that I'm actually with someone else who seems to want the same things in life as I do to. We're still in the beginning stages. So I don't know if this is a forever thing. Booty have a good feeling about her dot my now ex-wife and our neighbor tried to work things out for the sake of the baby. But two guests they only liked each other when they were sneaking around. Neither of them are in a relationship. My ex ended up moving back home with her mom because she couldn't afford the rent in our neighborhood by herself. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more stories like this. See you next time.